the origin of this problem lies in Myanmar's policy to expel these people by torturing them, by killing them, by attacking them. They left because they couldn't find living in Burma possible anymore. That's why they left in leaky boats, in leaky boats, and they drowned in the sea by the thousands. And we call it a boat problem. It's not a boat problem. It's a problem which we must admit is a problem created by Myanmar by expelling these people. <laughs> and therefore, this idea that we should not interfere in the internal affairs of nations should have a limitation. Up to a point, yes. We should not interfere in their politics and try to campaign them as is being done now. We know that in many countries, political parties <coughs> receive support from big powers, for example, who wanted to achieve regime change. They do interfere in the internal affairs of the country, but there should be a limit to what would constitute internal affairs that are beyond uh, criticism by neighbors or by other countries. Killing people as they are doing in Myanmar today is not something that we should tolerate. It may be internal, but no country should have a right to treat their people in this way. Whether this be their own people, as in the case of Cambodia, Two million Cambodians were killed by their government and we stood by doing nothing. And now we are seeing the Rohingyas being killed, tortured, driven away from their homes, driven away from their country. And we say this is a problem of both people. There wouldn't be both people. There were no both people before when there was no